Thibel, uh, the rookie scale extension deadline came and went for the Sixers. So the mm -hmm. team would have had to sign him as a as a restricted free agent coming up this year. So essentially this year for him is going to be a prove-it deal for him uh, if he can get that 33.3% th that uh, three-point shot that Tejan wants him to get. We're not. That's pretty much what's going to come down to, I think, this year for him. Um, so what are your guys' thoughts on uh, not being able to come to an extension with uh, with Thibel yesterday? Doesn't surprise me. Um, you know, I can't, <laughs> excuse me. I think we're going to have more teams start, you know, going to the restricted the restricted route. I really do. Um, um, you know, I think that from a Sixer standpoint, it's a strategy because the, I, I don't think that they believe. Well, I mean, Bible has to play extremely well to maybe play out of the range that they probably have for him. Mm -hmm. um, and if he's doing that, that's going to accelerate the team. <laughs> So it's almost like a win-win. Mm -hmm. um, and from from Thibault's standpoint, I mean, I think that he, he probably, if he got an offer, if he got one, I'm sure he felt that, you know, based around based on how guys are getting paid um, around the league for what he's asked to do, I'm sure he probably wasn't happy with it and felt that he could get that in free agency. So um didn't surprise me. didn't surprise me that, that we're here with that with that negotiation. Tejo, uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this one. <laughs> so my thoughts are, I like that Thibault's betting on himself. Um, it means he's truly confident in taking the the steps or shots uh, in order to become the player we've all you know hoped he's he'd become. Right. Um, yeah. So he's not just saying he's improved; he's actually putting his money where his mouth is and. For our sake as a team, I hope he's right because, like you said, you know, he prospers, we prosper, right? Yes. Um, if he is right, though, the other side of that would be, I mean, if he's right and he is betting on himself and he wins that bet and he shoots 37% this year and killer defense playing 28 minutes a game, whatever. Um, it's going to be a lot harder to sign him next offseason. That is the reality of the situation um, because there's probably some shitty team that's going to just throw all kinds of money at him and then he'll be on their trade block two years from now. Um, so you know, there's pluses and minuses to the situation. I hope he kills it this year and we'll deal with the contract stuff when it comes up next off season. Yeah. Yeah. No, it, it, like, like well, that's the first thing I thought of too, was the him betting on himself aspect of it. And I, I mean, obviously we, we've seen his jumper, his shot during a uh, preseason. It looks good. And obviously he thinks he's made some changes that, it, you know, it'll help him out um, this season and maybe get that bigger deal next year. So, um, or the offer was just that low to the point where he's like, I can do better than this, even shooting 30% uh, from three, like I've been. So, so we don't know. We don't know what the offer was. And so, yeah, I, I hope he dominates and I hope uh, he sticks around um, past, uh, past the season. Um, it also it, makes it a lot easier that we didn't do a deal with him to trade him during the season. So there's always that option as well. Yeah. Interesting. Um, Eric, I know uh, for our fans out there, um, uh, Eric's a uh, Cleveland Guardians fan. Uh, Eric Swain knows uh, the Yankees just hit a three-run shot. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was live, to, uh, live, live reaction. No, I, I, was trying, I was trying to update him because I have a game. Are you, are, are you DVRing it, uh, Eric? No, I'm, you know, baseball so long, I mean, I'll catch up, and it's not enough action. They'll show how to no. run for me. Like, I don't have to. I don't have to do that. It's no spoilers to me in baseball. Okay. Like it is in, in, in basketball and football. Three run shots pretty close. <laughs> no, it's not. I mean, you, you kind of told me how they score, but by the time I looked it up and found it, they'd probably be in the same inning. Is what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, that's that's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah, my bad, Eric. I, I didn't mean that. I, I wasn't trying to be an ass there. I, I just I just saw I mean, it. Were you were you trying to update me or you were trying to be a smart aleck? No, I, 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 I was just trying to update you. I was trying to update you. Oh, you, you couldn't wait till the show was over to do that, huh? <laughs> well, it just happened. It's up to the minute. So, you know, I may I, jump to my I may jump to my my Philly team. <laughs> <laughs> you always have that option. That's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. I cheer for all Philly teams. <laughs> they just, uh, you know, only the Sixers is the number one team. Yeah. Right there with you. <laughs> 